Guys, I'm going to do this over. I, I uh, kind of messed up the video. I started dropping things. Um, I've been an artist for 30 years, so I, I'm very knowledgeable when it comes to art supplies, paints, brushes, or anything that has to do with art. I'm very knowledgeable. I have purchased in 30 years of me uh, doing art, a lot of sketch pads. And from all different companies, because I'm always, uh, you know, you're always searching and and trying different products. And especially when it comes to artists, they want good paper, good quality paper, good sketch pads. Now, uh, some people buy sketch pads, but sometimes when you look for a sketch pad, you have to first know what you want it for. I mean, like you have different sketch pads, you have some that are for watercolor, some for fountain pen, some for uh, pencil. Then you have some that do uh, various uh, mediums. Uh, some will do uh, marker, fountain pen, uh, lead pencil, and you know, stuff like that. Or some you have that is mixed media. Uh, in the years that I have, uh, like I said, I've tried different sketch pads. This is one for watercolor. This is 90 pounds. I really prefer 140 pounds when I uh, do watercolor. This is by another company. And this is a Mosquito. This is a, a sketch pad that everyone kind of um, likes. Uh, the size is good, it has this elastic. They've been in business for a lot of years. They have that little ribbon that you can put to, you know, hold your page, all that good stuff. Then you have this other company here, Carson, that also does uh, sketch pads. But, um, there's a company, I hope I, I can pronounce their name. They're from German, German Sketchpad, which you know what they say about the Germans. Everything they make is top of the line. Let me kind of eat the musket here because uh, it's a lot, it's very similar to the musket. Um, this is the one I'm talking about now. Let me see if I can pronounce this name. Lucha Tim. This is the company here. Lucha Tim. Uh, now this company, uh, they've been in business for a long time. A long, long time. I think over a hundred years. As long as Mesquite. As long as these guys been around. And um, one thing about the product, it has the ribbon that everybody likes to have. You know. And it has that little pocket in the back. But this one also has some little thing there telling you about the company, how long they've been producing, making sketch pads, and um, a little history about their company, and a little bit of information that I think that's pretty good. and. Then they also have this, uh, what's the other thing, uh, the stickers, they have these stickers that you can put, there you go. So like a lot of times you like to, uh, these stickers here have these little tags where you can stick them on the front and the back. Then you have the long ones that you can stick along the edge here. You can you know, give these sketch packs uh, titles, like, uh, you can put, um, portraits, uh, this one is landscapes, uh, this one is abstract, you know, stuff like that, or notes, uh, whatever you, you use your sketch pack for. Uh, this one here, let me get the magnifying glass. I've had the sketch pad already now for almost well, six months, seven months of using it. I wanted to really use it. Now, this is 180 grams. 
It's a nice white paper, 96 pages. Uh, it could be used with uh, a smooth paper made of high fiber cotton. Idea for classic sketching with pencil. And um, you can use chalk, pastels, felt pen, and markers. Okay. What else we have here? Like I said, they made in Germany. This is. Uh, their name that way you can go online and I'm gonna put a link to their company if you choose to order some of these sketch pads now these are top of the notch pads these are pads that um for sketching they're great because uh, this is what I, I I wanted sketch pads that I can sketch go on the subway and I a small one that I could then they also have these little Hey, look at that! That they have these little things that they sell also that you can stick. I stuck mine here. They gave me uh, a yellow, uh, a purple, and a green. I decided to put the green with the purple, the purple with the yellow, and the yellow with the green. I kind of did that because uh, I kind of like that. Then it has these. Uh, these pads have these things here that you can put your pens like when you're done with your pen you can let me get this in here you see you can do that and you won't lose your pen close it like that now you're ready to go and put the elastic over it and I'm ready to go. I can just be on the subway, fold my leg, you know, take this ribbon and take it off and take my pen out. And I can start doing some sketches. This is a sketch I did with pencil lead. This is with the pen. No bleeding. Just very little. Probably put too much. It's another one. Sketch I did. Some cows. This is a watercolor. A little bit of a thin wash. As long as it's not a, a wash with a lot of water, you can thin wash. It's okay. So that's what I did on this small one so far. This is the bigger one, the purple. Let me see what I have in here. Oh, this one has this sketch that I did. The pen. I'll do anything yet. Then I did this and pen. No bleeding. This is with pencil. Pen. This is marker. No bleeding. This is pencil. This is uh, pencil. This is ink. Brush pen with ink. Some bleeding, but I, I really was using a lot of ink. I mean, and like I said, this is not for a lot of water or a lot of ink. This is just sketching. And what I was using was I was using this, and it's not really made for that. This brush pen and. Um, it's not made for that. Oh shit, I got this ink all over. This ink, it's...
it's all over the place. Okay, see this? And it covers you and you have some. Talking about a lot of ink. Very wet. But, um, it's not good for that. You see? But it's not made for that. And then, what else we have? That's all I did there. Thank you, right? Before I close it. Then I have the bigger one. This is the big baby. Nice size. And I don't... <laughs> you see, I, I, I shouldn't be using this one. I did uh, some painting on it. I think I put a layer of gesso. And I did some painting. You see, this was some gouache that I did. And then this is the other side. Some sketches that I did. This is uh, another gouache. Just playing around. Ink. And I'll continue to fill this up here. And I'll take advantage of all the space. I'll fill this up here. And this is to study to practice. This is a marker, which they said it was okay and it's perfect. You see, no bleeding, felt marker, no problem. This is pencil. This is a uh, pencil. This is more pencil. This is your sketches that practicing, playing around, practice. Joints are not all that great, but wash. This is some pen. They work great when it comes to using pens. Like that's what they're made for. They are fantastic. They're not really made to use water or markers, they're okay. Pencilette, okay. Pastels, fine. But um if you're going to try to use a lot of water, you're going to have problems. Because they're not made for that. I mean, that you will have to get a mixed media watercolor pad. And you will have to get that. Very nice. Very nice. I got to leave these out because I got to continue to work with... But um, they're great, top quality. Like I said, these are white. The papers like uh, bone white. They feel nice. Uh, very small. Yeah. So, let me put my pen here. I'm having to do that. Well, I'll leave it here because. So, this is my, uh, the pads, very nice, they come in all different colors, 
once I have this yellow, purple, and green, then you can get them in different color, and, and then they'll look like this when you put them in the shell. So, very nice. These are my three that they sent me. Which it was very nice of them. Uh, it took, took a while for me to get them. and you know. So this is my review. I used them and very impressed with them. I would continue to buy their product. Their product is very well made. Uh, I mean, well, look at this product. and uh, Look at my muskeg and look at the way this muskeg is falling apart. I mean, I've noticed the muskeg is already... It's like... All falling apart. I wonder why. I mean, these are a lot older than the mosquito, but okay, this would be like the same size of, of the mosquito, but this one is a little bigger. This is the mosquito, but uh, this company here, Lutcherton, is a little bit more wider compared to the muskeg. And also, maybe let me see something here. And then you gotta also yeah, these uh, have their, their sound on that little material. The mosquito, I don't even think it's sound. I think it's just, I don't see no material there. Oh wow, look, it's already falling apart. That's bad. But uh, I, I can't say that. It's, be, it's probably because I've been using it. I've used this pad a lot and clamped it to the easel and clipped it this way and so it wouldn't be fair for me to say oh well you know if I was to use this sketch pad as much as I've used this I don't know what condition this pad would be in but uh I have used this pad a lot more, but uh, this pad is very nice, very nice. Edges are very, very nice, the way it's put together. The way the paper is nice. I would love to see if they can send me some watercolor pads if I can do a review on their watercolor pads, but um, I'm going to put a link to their company so you can go and check them out and get yourself a couple of them. Now, uh, like I said, this is quality stuff. If you want quality, you're going to have to pay for it. I mean, uh, these are not even sketch pads, but they're like books, you know, like uh, hardcover books. So it's not even like a like this sketch pad that this uh, soft cover like when you buy a book you have hard, uh, hard cover or soft cover this would be soft cover you know this is more like a book so when your drawings are done uh, they're gonna be well to you know they're gonna be very protected you know in here so, um, go try them out. Let me kind of see if I can get this dirt. This is the, the name, they have their name also uh, engraved in their book. I wish uh, when they made products, I wish they would uh, uh, use a name that they would consider using a name that 
people won't have a problem pronouncing it. I mean, I know they're made in Germany and stuff like that, but maybe uh, the brands that uh, come into the United States and they should think about uh, using a, a, a name that sounds more where they can pronounce it, and that's my only complaint, you know. I mean, it probably, a, a, a lot more people probably would have, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's hard to remember that name, I mean, you know, for me it is, I mean, I don't know if some people, I mean, I've seen other videos, people have made videos and they have no problems pronouncing it, and some people have, um, it's a Lurcherton, Lurcherton. Black her time work her time I don't know but um this is where the when you buy that the little thing here to hold your pen it comes on these and this is the packaging it comes in and you would just take it off from here and put you know stick it onto your book where you can stick your your pen onto your sketch pad and you won't lose it, you won't misplace it. Like if I was to take my pen, I won't lose it because it's going to be in here. Let me uh, do that, show you. And it's pretty tight. That elastic is very tight. In a second, there you go. You see, it's pretty tight. And that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. This is my fountain pen. So I would open up my sketch pad and I would, like, let's see if I want to. Okay, this was work with this. I've already been working. Um, yeah, but they're very nice. And uh, that's it, guys. Some joints back here towards the bed, didn't we? Okay. And then we have those joints, and then we have these. Okay. Just take your elastic, wrap it up, put it around, and that's it. Alright, guys, bye for now.